have you got the social media marketing yeah. Yeah. business going, mm -hmm. and now we're talking about how did we get to um, the boxing? I mean, so we have two things to talk about: right. boxing and Michelle O'Brunch. Right, okay. Which, by the way, I think Michelle O'Brunch, the boxing, and the social media marketing that you ended up doing for the people you did it for really all braided together. Right. Right? But we'll get to that. March, I was like, oh, you know, it was women's, I think it was Women's History Month or something. I was like, oh, I want to do a brunch celebrating Michelle Obama. She's amazing, you know, oh my God, the, the first black woman, you know, first lady. She's so amazing. She's real and powerful. You know, her mother's with her. I, lo I love the fact that her mother yeah. lived at the White House. Yeah, yeah. It was just like, you know, as an only child for some reason, it just like, that would be me. Like, I would have been like, like, come here, mother uh, dear, like, be here with me at the White House. Yeah, for, I'm sure Barack was really happy about right. that. Right. <laughs> yeah. But I thought it was like, like yes, mom. I know I'm the man. I know I'm like the head of the free world, right. but when I get home, I'm in real trouble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, was just, it was so humanizing to me. Yes. You know, yes. like, I just love that about her. And so, I, I was like, in March of that year, I called just, you know, just to be funny, I was like Michelle O brunch, you know, like Michelle Obama brunch with Michelle O brunch. Mm -hmm. And I invited a few friends, it was like maybe 15, 20 of us. And so I was friends and friends of friends. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, all we're gonna do is just have this brunch in our honor of Michelle Obama. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk about her, what she means to us, and all this other good stuff, and we'll sit down and brunch. And it was like the most amazing experience. Like people were crying, they were laughing, ah. like connections were being made. I'm like, oh, I have something here. So I did that, I did a couple more in 20, 2009, and then by 2010, I had a website up and like I sort of more formalized it. And then over the next five years, so up between like 2009 and like 2014, I was like going to New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania, doing these brunches, you know? And the idea was we always have like an amazing woman curate the brunch, and meaning that she would talk, she would be the, she'd figure out the topic. She would just pick one speaker in every exactly. brunch to start off the brunch. Exactly, she'd pick up, she'd pick the topic, something about leadership, she figured out like we'd have some sort of exercise during the brunch to kind of learn about her approach to leadership. You know, maybe we'd bring in some sponsors, whatever have you. She'd also maybe invite some guests, but it'd be kind of like her brunch, her show, right? Um, and she'd be a little Michelle, if you will, right? So that was what I was doing, and I'm only doing it on the side, didn't make very much money from it at all, right? And then by 2014, I decided, like, this may be, there might be a business model in here. Mm -hmm. So that's actually the Genie Box, the box company that you're referencing. That's actually Michelle O'Brunch in a box, in a lot of ways. 